Hi, everybody, and thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Mike Parker. Glad you could join us and hope everybody out there is doing well as we head into this final week before Christmas. I know, hard to believe, but if you're like me, well, it wouldn't be the most special time of the year if it weren't so crazy. Here around the cabin, still putting some of those finishing touches on the tree and the trimmings, and if you ask me, yeah, looking pretty good. <laughs> well, when it comes to the holiday season, of course, there's Thanksgiving, Christmas, and on Delmarva, well, we've got the fall rock fishing season too. So we decided to give ourselves an early Christmas present and headed out on the Chesapeake Bay. It is dark 30 this morning here in Crisfield, Maryland, where the crew of the Kingfish 2 prepare to take six local anglers on a quest to catch some monster fall rockfish. For skipper Harry Neal and mate Pat Scott, it's all about being ready when, or even if, the fish strike. You know, we get everything rigged up, ready to go, so when we see the fish and we're ready to drop, we can just put our rigs in and roll with it and uh, hope for the best. As we all know, half of the battle of fishing is, well, just finding the fish. So, as the Kingfish 2 heads an hour south to their destination, all eyes will be on this fish finder as the crew will be searching for huge schools of menhaden and other bait that these big rock will be gorging on before moving out to sea. As the crew reaches the area that has proven promising in the past, they've spotted a huge group of bait fish represented by this orange and red pattern on the screen. And they waste no time in deploying the lines as the sun breaks the horizon. On this beautiful morning, it's all about hauling in the monsters. And while charter organizer Dave Standen is optimistic. There's a lot of birds hanging around down here. It's a good sign. Son Eric Standen is a bit suspicious of today's calm conditions. Uh, the, the problem is rockfish don't like nice weather. They like it to be dirty, nasty, windy, cold. The, the more miserable you are, the more fish you catch. But as we circle methodically around the promising area, the fish finder reveals the blue screen of death, so to speak. No bait fish could mean no rockfish. I've lost it, same old deal. Yeah, I have too. I haven't hit it at all. We set in where it was huge bait fields, uh, very interesting bait, and uh, the time we got set, 30 minutes later, and come back to the, to the place we'd marked the bait, the bait was totally gone. And if we could determine which way the bait moves, the key, that's the key to fishing. Now, some would say fishing is hours of boredom <laughs> punctuated by moments of sheer chaos. And somewhere under this vast bay lie the big schools of bait fish and ultimately the feeding rock. But with determination, the crew finally finds the bait. Four, you're up. And just like that, it is on, with not just one, but two huge rock on the line. Good job, guys. Great job. With the first two fish aboard, the morning is now off to a promising start. And first-time rockfish angler Corey Puckett has rendered almost speechless. My bad, big Soon after, the Kingfish 2 comes across another huge red blob, and Lady Locke strikes yeah, again. Yeah, I'll let you know. Oh, 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 we got all it all right now. All right. You're up, you're up. Nice fish, Ed. That was a big one. A little farther out than I thought it was. Up. 21 lines are being deployed today, and this next strike seems to confirm Dave Standen's early optimism. Soon there is a bit of a lull in the action as Captain Neal looks to find a payoff for the last two anglers still fishless. Dave has a winning streak, he says, needs upholding. Every charter he's ever fished has limited out. Maybe he's on to something. There's your big boy. Number five is aboard, and the size of the rock remains impressive. 
But just as quickly, another dry spell hits, and this time it seems like they've lost the bait fish. It's beginning to seem like Dave's son Eric may be the one who breaks his streak and even describes what he's feeling. Anticipation, anxiousness, boredom, tired, ready, everything. But this determined crew is not about to give up. Come on, hold this pole, please. Hanging off big time. The last rock strikes so quickly that our cameras miss the moment. But the triumph is evident as the anglers aboard the Kingfish 2 are limited out. Right. Good things come to those who wait. My record is still intact. I'm going home with a limit. Get outdoors, Del Mar.